Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Super Mario 64. We are collecting some more stars, because we need 30 in order to continue through the game. And we're heading back to Big Boo's Haunt. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. Alright, for this mission, we're gonna go somewhere we didn't go last time, and that's this way. So there is a Mr. Eye there. I'm not gonna bother fighting him, because I've got no reason to. Anyways, down this way. You can hear some carnival type music playing or whatever. So many people think that this is the same song as in Majora's Mask and it's just not. Even though it really sounds like it is. And then you actually listen to them and you're like, these aren't the same songs at all. Anyways, so there's two doors into here, and there's booze coming out of this portrait here, and flames coming out of other ones. So let's just go on another ghost hunt. Feeding all five of those booze makes Big Boo appear again. And with some more ghost busting, that's another star down. I thought Luigi was supposed to be the ghost buster. Guess he didn't do that stuff yet. Ah! Anyways. Let's head back down to Hazy Maze Cave. See if we can get another star or maybe two down here, because I remember what the next star was. And we might be spending a good amount of time in this level. Elevate for eight red coins. So, the game hasn't told us this yet, but in addition to there being a star for getting eight red coins, uh, each of the 15 main courses also have a star for getting a hundred coins total. And since red coins are worth two coins, and there's eight of them, that counts for 16 coins already, and when you get in a 100 coin star, it doesn't kick you out of the level. So, you know, you might as well get the 100 coin stars and the 8 red coin stars on the same mission most of the time. There's some exceptions, but usually you want to get them at the same time. Work elevator. For those who get off here, grab the pole to the left and slide carefully down. Alright, so this is the red coin section. We are here. Elevator area. Right, hazy maze entrance. Left, black hole. Elevator one. Arrow, you are here. Okay, so let's defeat some enemies around here to get their coins. And, you know, read some signs. Above, automatic elevator. Elevator begins automatically and follows preset course. It disappears automatically, too. Let's see what this automatic elevator is all about. Woo! 
so we can ride this platform around to get these red coins that are in these cork boxes. If we stay away from this elevator too long, it'll disappear, so you want to keep riding it. Of course, you kind of have to keep riding it, otherwise it'll get away and leave you behind. Hello, Swoopers, also known as Swoops now, because Nintendo for some reason just feels the need to change the names of their characters. Yeah, that platform almost disappeared, not that it would have mattered since we're done with it. But there we go, there was our loop around the course. And now over here, work elevator, danger, read instructions thoroughly. Elevator continues in the direction of the arrow activated. I'll do that one in a second. First, I want to get rid of these little spider guys. I also kind of want to just leave one red coin uncollected so I don't accidentally grab the power star and leave the level. Hazy Maze exit. Danger closed. Turn back now. Yeah, I could go into the Hazy Maze too to get some coins. In fact, I, I definitely want to do that because I know there's blue coins in there. So while there are red coins in these cork boxes, I think I'm gonna leave the closest one for now. Maybe I'll leave both of those for now. And we've got some eyes here. That are a bit difficult to run around on these little platforms. But that one's doable. That one is also doable, but in a worse way. There we go, we got a red coin in there. Our platform disappeared, so we're gonna have to go back up. Let's try to heal ourselves with one of the red coins over this way. Because in order to defeat this Mr. Eye here, we're gonna have to take damage. And if we fail to defeat it, it's no big deal, but... Okay, I failed. And our platform is gone. But yeah, if you take damage, you can run through him and you can make the circle work that way. So, um, at this point, I'm thinking let's not go for the Mr. Eye. Let's just get the rest of the red coins. And then not accidentally collect the star. Since we've basically done everything in this area already, we shouldn't accidentally collect the star. Because it's not like we're going to fall down on top of it if we're not doing stuff up over it, you know? So there's the red coin star. We could just get that now, but then that would take us out of the level, so we're not doing that. 
Okay, there's no coins in there. That's just Kaizo. Um... <laughs> Anyways, here's the entrance to the hazy maze. Here's a map of the maze. With like three circles indicating like safe points and the red arrows where we start and the red dots the exit. This will probably tell us all that. Hidden inside the green black is the amazing metal cap. Wearing it, you won't catch fire or be hurt by enemy attacks. You don't even have to breathe while wearing it. The only problem, you can't swim in it. Danger ahead. Beware of the strange cloud. Don't inhale. If you feel faint, run for higher ground and fresh air. Circle, shelter. Arrow, entrance, exit. All right, well, here we are, So we run out of air when we're in that fog. Not good. All right, so these Monty Moles aren't gonna give us any coins. We'll get our metal cap here. I believe I want to go... Yeah, this way. This is where the blue coins appear. And I think I got all of them. So we can defeat some more of these guys for some more coins, which are also our air. These slopes make it kind of hard, though. These little pits you fall into. So this is where one of those safety alcoves was. We'll check out the other two later. Now I want to take out these swoopers, get what coins they offer. And we've pretty much explored the full maze now. If we go this way, we can get out. We're at 90 coins. That's an awful lot, but not quite enough, even if we got the blue coin from that Mr. Eye that we failed to defeat. It still wouldn't be enough, so let's try out this way. Up, black hole, right, work elevator, and hazy maze. Now, the black hole is scary, because, you know, insta-death and all that. I'd hate to come this far just to fail. But there is this spider guy around here along with some bats. To give us a few extra coins. Was there coins across here? I'm not sure, but I'm not risking that jump. If I bonk on the wall and fall down those stairs, I'm dead. Come up here, Swooper. I want your coins. I don't want to have to go down there. Although I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to either way. Okay, these bats are not cooperating. So let's just do it. The 
scary part isn't going down there, it's getting back up. I'm still two coins away, but I know there's some in here. So this gets us our hundred coins. We could keep getting more for a high score, but there's no point. You've collected a hundred coins. Mario gains more power from the castle. Do you want to save? Yes. And now we'll go back and get our red coin star. If we die, we have to get the red coins again, but at least we don't have to get the hundred coins again. Now see, this is where it's scary. Yep, there, I'm dead. Okay, so we need to get the red coins again, but the 100 coins are safe. This shouldn't take too long. Now that we're not, like, reading all the signs and all that. Not trying to collect every single coin. Not having an argument with that stupid Mr. I over there. As you can see, this is much simpler when you're not going for literally everything else. Squash that spider! Alright, so that's one elevator done. I thought I could land straight on the elevator there, but apparently my jump wasn't good. Fine, I'll go onto the platform as intended. I do prefer to do things the intended way, but I've already done that one the intended way, so... Thought maybe I could get some style points there, but no. Yeah, I mean, there were more bats up here, but they don't behave very well, so... Anyways... There's all eight red coins again, and now we can go get our star. I, I don't know where it is, it, but it'd be cool if I could land on it. Oh, it was sort of close. Here we go! And there we go, elevate for eight red coins. Now let's check out Lethal Lava Land again. <laughs> Bully the Bullies sounds very similar to the last one we did. Let's try going the other way this time. Ow. Okay. There's where the big bully was last time, and over here. 
Over this way are those bullies we gotta defeat this time. There we go, that's two down. Come on, get over here. Get over here, you stupid bully. There we go, and with that, a big bully spawns. And isn't he rude? But he wasn't that difficult. Here we go! Back into Shifting Sandland here. Our next mission is Shining Atop the Pyramid. We've already gone around here once, so let's try to take a little shortcut. I failed that miserably. Well, now you get to see some of that quicksand in action. I'm sinking in this stuff too. Well, if the box didn't work for me, there's other ways we can shortcut this. I was gonna use the cat, but I could use the shell. The shell could be fun. In fact, the shell makes getting the star pretty trivial, but I don't want to cheat it that way, so let's just go back here to where we, you know, met with Klepto and all that. And you'll notice he can take our hat. He didn't grab the hat, because... Because I hit him at the same time that he got it. I wish there was something I could run into in order to lose this shell. I want to show Klepto off properly. You know what? For I, I don't know what to run into. Here we go. I'll also show off this tornado while we're at it. Yeah, so you can glide around thanks to that twister. Okay, now come take my hat and actually steal it, please. There we go, he took my hat, and that does bad things for me. I believe I'd take double damage from everything now. Does this explain that? No, it just tells you about the wing cap. But yeah, if I hit this, I'd still got my cap back. That's not what I was expecting to happen. He does still have my cap. Well, while I'm waiting for this to wear off, I could show what it's like to do this part properly. Oh my gosh, that could have been really bad. So yeah, there's a lot of ways to go up to this star.
Okay, it's wearing off, and yeah, we still don't have our cap. So yeah, if you hit this block without a cap... Why am I misremembering this game? I thought, like, hitting blocks without your cap is supposed to, like, hurt you or something. Why don't I understand how this game works? Anyways, if we left the stage, we would still be missing our cap. So we actually need to get it back from that Condor guy. There's numerous ways to lose your cap in this game. Anyways, I failed to get the one up from that block here, but whatever. So now let's just actually try to make our way up here. That fly guy was helpful. It gets really thin up here. But yeah, you could ride the shell up here or fly up here or whatever. There's so many ways to make that star easier, but you know, I'm trying to show all the intended ways. And we still don't have the 30 stars required to actually make progress. So let's try heading back upstairs, get a few more stars done up there. Over in bob on Battlefield, we should have a pretty quick one next. Shoot to the island in the sky. We basically already did this when we were cheating the race. The first time. We just want to head over here. Oh, the... One bob -omb said there's four cannons, there's actually five. Because in addition to the one at the start, and the one here, and the one on the island, and the one down there I showed, there's also one, like, directly across here. I could show that real quick. Like, yeah, there's one right here. So there's actually five. The bob -omb lied to us before. I don't know if they just weren't counting the one on the island in the sky or what. That's probably the case, but... Yeah, there's definitely five. Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Well, we're not doing that star right now. We're doing this star. Here we go! Okay. That done, let's check out the third star in Womp's Fortress. Shoot into the wild blue. So this is gonna involve going somewhere we haven't been yet, being here. We could have gone here easily before because we were up where this sign was before, but we never went down here. Where we would have fallen to if we would have failed at that platforming up there. But yeah, we've got a bob -omb buddy here. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off, come on, hop into the cannon. Will do. Now if we just aim at that pillar below my targeting thing. My targeting reticle. 
we can get right in here and go down this pole that Mario didn't grab to get our star. Or you could have just wall jumped up to that platform. Either way. But I'm doing it the intended way, of course. Let's head over into Jolly Roger Bay real quick. <laughs> Treasure of the Ocean Cave. We're finally gonna be exploring the cave here, huh? Well, all right then. You may have noticed the cave entrance underwater when we've dived down here a few times before. And that's where we're headed now, and now the eel is just out. Just out and about. And here we are. Keep out, that means you, Arg. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. I think that was supposed to be right in a pirate voice. So we've got some blue coins here that we're gonna wanna remember when we do the 100 coin challenge. But for the most part, you just wanna avoid all this stuff crashing down. Arg, ahoy, matey, I have sunken treasure here, I do. But to uh, pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chests in the right order. What order is that, ye say? I'll never tell. The cap'n. Now, I noticed that there's a metal cap thing here. So that should theoretically keep us from being shocked if we get it wrong. Not that I'll get it wrong, because I know the order, but let's get it wrong on purpose here just to test this out. Yeah, it shocks us, but it doesn't drain our health. Because we're metal. Anyways, the right answer here... is up, left, right, down. And it's the exact same pattern in the little cave when you go through the Undercave in Seaside Kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey. That was a little callback back to this game. Here we go! So that's Treasure of the Ocean Cave done. I would like to get one more star done in this video to get us to that nice 30. So let's go get the next star in Cool Cool Mountain. Big Penguin Race. We're gonna be doing this race twice. Well, technically three times, but the, th the third time not for a while. Hey, hey, Mario, buddy. How's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast sledding kind of guy. I know speed when I see it. Yes, sirree, I'm the world champion sledder, you know? What do you say? How about a race? Ready? Go! kind of realized that for the races, I've never gotten the dialogue for when you lose. Maybe I should do that. Anyways, let's take a shortcut, because we haven't learned from with Koopa the Quick. Hey, I beat ya. Whoa, Mario pal, you aren't trying to cheat, are you? Shortcuts aren't allowed. Now I know that you know better. You're disqualified. Next time, play fair. Alright, fine. Yahoo! Let's 
Lego. Let's play fair and beat him. Now, I would say we should go as fast as we can, but, you know, there is definitely some rubber banding here. I'm still gonna try to go as fast as I can. Ah, but that was... that was not the best angle. Okay, so we died there. Mamma mia! Hego! This is admittedly a little bit tricky. You gotta go slow around some corners, but you also, you also don't want to go too slow if the corner is trying to, like, push you off of it, like if it's at an angle where it's gonna push you off of the trap. And there we go, we have succeeded. You broke my record, unbelievable, I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this star instead, you've earned it. And of course, he doesn't want to talk to me. Whatever. Okay, we've got the star. And with that big penguin race done, you've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? Maybe. But yeah, with those 30 stars, we can now get through the big star door down here which we'll be doing in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.